In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about relative clauses and then show how we can do relative clauses in X-bar theory. There are two types of relative clauses. One are subject extracted relative clauses and the other are object extracted relative clauses. And I have both demonstrated here. The subject extracted relative clause could be something like the dog who ate dinner, where the dog is the subject of ate. So the dog ate dinner. But what's happening is we're making a relative clause out of this. So we're moving the dog out of the embedded clause here. And then we are leaving a gap where the dog was. So this who is a gap. And this is a subject gap. Then we put a WH word at the beginning of the embedded clause, and we end up with the dog who ate dinner. Now an object extracted RC works in the same fashion, the dog who I love, where we have the subject filled, but then we leave an object gap here. So in this case, the dog is the object of love. And this moves out of the embedded clause, and then we include a WH word at the beginning of the embedded clause. So there's subject extracted relative clauses and object extracted relative clauses. And these gaps are a great way to understand where the arguments are coming from in any tree. This will really help you with figuring out where these words are in trees. And when you get to syntactic processing courses, if you do take any, then the theory behind the differences in processing will also be pretty apparent just based on where the gaps are located and where movement is. Let's do some trees for these. Let's start with the dog who ate dinner. The first thing we notice with these embedded clauses, of course, or these relative clauses, are that we have CPs being adjuncts in NPs. The dog who ate dinner. So this is a CP inside an NP because it's modifying dog. So here's what we have. The dog who ate dinner. I'm putting who as the specifier of VP because the dog is the thing eating dinner. So who ate dinner? And of course, this gets the theta roll from eight. So this is the agent of the eating. Then this moves up to spec T, P. So now we have the dog who ate dinner, where this is the subject. But even though we're getting case here, nominative case, so we have case and a theta roll, the C head for relative clauses isn't pulling for a question, but it is pulling for a WH word. It wants that WH word to fill in the specifier of CP. So this is a plus WH minus Q. And this allows us to pull who up even further in the tree. So first it moves from spec VP to spec TP, and then the plus WH pulls it from spec TP to spec CP. So it gets theme from eight, it gets case from T, and then it lands in spec TP where it satisfies the plus WH word requirements on C. And then we end up with the dog who ate dinner. This is the subject extractor relative clause. The object extractor relative clause works very similarly. In which case, the dog I love who, and who gets accusative case from love. And then, of course, our C head minus Q plus WH is pulling for a WH word and it just takes who and moves it all the way up into spec C CP. So now we have the dog who I love, but we can just see I is the subject of love. So it just moves from spec VP to spec TP to get case and theta roll. And that's all there is it to relative clause. They are pretty straightforward. The main thing that I'm really introducing here is the C head, which is minus Q plus WH, and the notion of gaps. In fact, 
some sort of interesting thing, which I'm just going to tag on to the video, is that in subject extractor relative clauses in English, it maintains a subject verb object word order. So the gap, of course, is the subject, then the verb, and then the object. But I should put this S under who. But in object extractor relative clauses, the object appears first disguised as who, and then it's a subject and then a verb. So even English has variations of object, subject, verb, embedded clauses. And as you can imagine, it's a little bit more challenging to process object extracted relative clauses than it is to process subject extracted relative clauses. When people encounter these object extractor relative clauses, processing of course happens, you can understand the dog who I love, but it does take significantly longer to process these sentences than the subject extractor relative clauses because there is only a very short movement between the subject and who while with this object extractor relative clause this is a big movement and we don't expect to have a subject filled all right that's it for relative clauses hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of extra information that really isn't theoretical but more experimental which is kind of interesting if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them the best that I can.